do you need a lathe with a sub spindle? Well, I'm here at Ward High Tech to have a look at this Huachong lathe and also see quite an interesting part and find out all about it from Mick. I'm Mick, um, Ward High Tech Applications Engineer, and I'm stood in front of one of our High Tech 230 YSMC models. What's special about this machine are the various specifications that you can get from a single spindle to a sub spindle machine, 65 mil bar capacity up to 81 mil bar capacity, depending on the model, eight or 10 inch chuck, again, depending on the model, 12 station turret, 24 indexing positions, so you could have up to potentially 24 tools on this turret at any one time. So with the subspindle machine, you get the opportunity to do one hit machining. So one setup completes your component rather than possibly three or four or even five setups. So on this machine, um, as with most of our watch and uh, lathes, it comes with box guideways, which makes it a very solid machine. Single casting usually, again, all this contributes to how solid the machine is. For the main spindle, depending on the model, so uh, the Hi-Tech 230A, as I've said before, comes with an eight inch chuck and gives you four and a half thousand RPM. B and C models come uh, with a 10 inch chuck and you get three and a half thousand RPM. If the machine comes with a sub spindle, you get the sub spindle coming with a, a, a standard with a six inch chuck that will give you 5,000 RPM. The benefit of having the sub spindle is that you can machine your first operation in your main spindle and then do either a static or a, a rotating parts transfer so that you can complete, as I said earlier, a job in one setup. How I've programmed this particular part is I've used a combination of the standard FANUP G code, uh, G71 cycles, etc., for doing some of the turning operations and also combine that with some of the manual guide I milling operations that are available on these controls as standard. Additional to the OITF Plus control that you get now on, on our latest machines, Watchen have introduced quite a lot of their own features, features such as Watchen lathe vibration control, Watchen tool load detect system, maybe not unique to Watchen, but uh, an energy uh, saving screen that allows you to control what stays on, what goes off, whether the machine turns the hydraulics and the lights off if it's stood idle for a certain amount of time, and other features that are available across the range, some slightly different depending on the model of machine that you get. So the high tech 230 machine is very compact, very versatile, robust and will produce perfect parts every time.